The directors of Avengers Infinity War reveal a important moment they knew going into Infinity War and Endgame that had to be in the film. And subsequently, they said when they were looking at this, they knew they had to build up to that point, but how they were gonna get there was the rest of the film they had to figure out. So let's talk about why this is such a weird backwards way to develop a story, but why it worked, I guess? It's weird. It's weird, I'll be real with you. And before we get into this, guys, let me remind you, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And you can say a bell that went off in the Russo's head happens in Avengers Age of Ultron. And both of the directors said when they were watching that film, when they started to develop Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame back to back, the one moment they knew had to be in there was Captain America picking up the hammer because there was the hint of it in Avengers Age of Ultron and everybody talked about it. So to them, that was the one moment, that piece in the battle, they knew it had to happen. And when writing the film with the writers, when coming up with ideas, they always knew that this had to happen. So develop some way, shape or form of a script that leads to this moment. Now I think most of you, if you've ever written something, specifically a screenplay or anything, know that this is kind of a backwards way to do it. You never want to be like, okay, here's a big fight scene. Everything has to go towards it. Everything has to go towards this one moment. That, for example, is how Michael Bay and those dudes wrote the Transformers films. And I think most of you will agree with me, that's not the way to do it. But the Russo brothers and Marcus and McFeely seem to have figured out this interesting way of understanding these characters and building up a moment, but also making sure that the story services that moment. And lucky for them, if you think about how they're talking about this, Age of Ultron and Joss Whedon already had that scene in there, and it's already been something that was years in the fandom being discussed as something that could have happened. Was he lying? Could he actually pick it up? Could he not? Was he worthy? Was he just faking the Thor to try to make him look like the Macho Man there? Oh yeah! You know, it, it's these moments, so they had to just build off of that, and they knew that if they did it, people would go, aha, that's already something that was kind of established in there because he moved the hammer. So it is something interesting, and um, it shows you how backwards Marvel Studios can work and still deliver something that's rather coherent. Not many people can. Hell, a lot of writers in Hollywood, they complete a full script knowing exactly what a beat for beat the film is going to be before it's shot and it still ends up being garbage. So it's interesting that they can start off knowing what a important scene is and build an entire movie building up to that scene and still have it make sense. And not just one scene or one film, two films. Yeah, that's pretty impressive, right? So as always, thanks for watching the video, guys. And if you guys would like more content, hit the little join button down below. See what we got to offer.